channel welcome back to another video i am so happy you're here if you're new here welcome my name is madison and in today's vlog i'm going to start off a day or a couple days in my life because i'm back at school after a really long unintentional break i tested positive for covid if you want to see how i found out <laughs> that whole day was so crazy i will have that vlog listed right here for you to click on um to watch after this video but it was uh, the craziest day of finding out that i had covid and then i felt pretty sick and i was on covid leave for five days and then last week we ended up ended up having three snow days i live in missouri so we had a ton of snow like we got over a foot which i know in some states that's not a lot because you guys get like many feet of snow but we got a little bit over a foot which was a lot for us um and so i have not been in school since january 29th and it's currently february 7th so i just feel like it's been kind of like a second winter break almost and my kids were gone for most of last week so it's like we're all adjusting here but right now as you guys see I have a lot going on um you can't really see my table but I have papers like all over and I'm kind of just multitasking right now um I'm currently on my plan time just trying to get some papers together um and i'm also currently on skillshare right now i have talked a lot about skillshare in the past and i'm currently taking a class on skillshare i'm currently taking a class by emma gannon and it's called finding fulfillment using pivots to power your creative career and you guys already know i love skillshare i use it and have used it for many many months that's why i love partnering with them and i just Think everybody should try Skillshare out at least once. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of online creative and inspiring classes. Those classes can range from specific skills that you want to learn like photography or graphic design or painting, drawing, education related, technology related skills, or their classes also get a little bit more broad. Maybe you don't have a specific skill that you want to work on. Maybe you're just kind of want to tune into your inner creativity and you want to learn something new um, or just be inspired by other creators. I personally use it because I find so much inspiration on there. There's so many creators and inspiring business entrepreneurs and um, just some really, really inspiring people on there. So I personally go on there to get some inspiration. This class that I'm taking by Emma Gannon, it's kind of just like all about like taking charge of your career and turning your dreams and your goals into a career and becoming an entrepreneur over the last couple years it has been really eye-opening as to how hard you have to work to have your own business and start your own side hustle um and it, it takes a lot of dreaming and a lot of goal setting and a lot a lot of behind the scene work put into it and so people like emma gannon just have a lot of knowledge and experience and i just love learning from them this is my third or fourth class that i've taken on here they're really short and sweet classes it's not like it'll take you a whole month to take a class honestly as much time as you put into it is the time that it'll take to finish them most of them maybe take an hour to three hours to finish the classes but of course you can go at your own pace really any time that i have some free time just to listen and learn is whenever i'll log on and finish up the classes that i'm taking skillshare is ad free so you don't have to worry about like annoying ads in all of the videos they add new premium content every single week so trust me there's thousands of classes you guys there's always something that i'm sure you can find interesting that you want to learn about their entire catalog is now available in subtitles in spanish french portuguese and german and skillshare is offering the most incredible deal right now they're offering the first 1000 people to click the link down in the description box a free one month trial of skillshare and one month gives you so much time you guys to try out definitely more than just one class and it's 100 percent free to the first thousand people so get on it i highly highly recommend it i love it it inspires me so much and i love anything that kind of like makes me tune into my inner creativity so i will have the link to check out skillshare down in the description box below so as you guys see here i have a lot going on basically the reason why i have like all these copies out um on a monday is because i um created all these sub plans like so many sub plans for last week because i thought i was gonna be gone all week and so i was like busy finding a bunch of activities for my kids because i didn't plan on being out now i did have a few emergency sub plans in my 
binder. I have like an emergency sub plan binder and I basically just keep a bunch of like generic sub plans, just like a few like reading activities, math activities, just simple stuff for the sub to do with them. But um, I didn't have enough for the full week. So I basically spent so much time at home finding all these sub plans. I rewrote a bunch of sub plans. Honestly, super easy. I don't make them super cute you guys I used to do that I think last year when I first started teaching I was like I had like the whole packet that was all cute and stuff but it honestly took me forever to fill out so this is way quicker I go on my google docs and I just type up simple sub plans okay it looks like a lot of writing but I I mean I go into detail about everything that they need to do during the day I just put it into time slots um and then on the back I just say please write any notes about how the day went and yeah super super simple so I actually printed out like five copies of these that I'm going to keep in my emergency sub binder and then I printed out a bunch of just great like supplemental word work and some math worksheets these are really great anything that has like coloring um or like color by numbers um cut out and paste or like tracing that type of stuff really keeps kids engaged and when i have a sub here i just want to make sure that my kids are engaged in other tables that way they're not like running amok around the room and being a problem for my sub so i always try to get stuff that will keep them really engaged um working independently so that is kind of what i'm doing i didn't want all these sub plans to go to waste and i was like you know what i'll be really kind of like grateful for my past self when in the future i have either like a sick day come up or i'm sub planning for like a personal day that i'm taking off and i already have them all done so i was like you know what i'm just going to get them all done put them in my binder that way in a month or two if I ever have a sub, I can just pull out the binder and they're all done and I don't have to do anything. So I'm going to be thanking my past self. what my substitute binder looks like and this is basically where I keep all my sub plans not just emergency but um, I sometimes plan ahead like this so I just make it easier on my future self if I have to plan at all for something um, but today I am basically going to I just put together like a full day of sub plans so I have like our initial just like day plans and then I have our reading writing and math and I just binder clip all of the copies together with the plans on top and this is just one full day of sub plans so super easy for me if I know I'm gonna be gone on Friday Thursday after school I'll pull this out set it out on my table with some labels on it and I'll be good to go <laughs> Kind of anticipated that today would be kind of rough just because it's like we're coming back from a break essentially um but it's been really really rough like they are on another level today but i'm just writing it out because i know it's gonna take some time to like get back to how we were we were on a really really good schedule and like just had everything down i would say closer to like before we went on winter break so it's been a while going on you know a two-week winter break and then coming back from winter break to all of these like back-to-back -back, like snow days and days off we've had like three-day weeks every week and it's just been really hard to get back into that routine that we had going really strong before christmas break so <laughs> i feel like it's just been extra hard to get back into it and my kids have just been like at each other's throats all day i mean it's seriously non-stop they just get on each other's nerves and they're just constantly bickering and fighting and the tattletaling has been like on another level and they've been giving me a lot of attitude like i feel like the attitudes today have been so much worse than normal like kids tell me no and like rolling their eyes at me and it's just been like attitude central in here and i'm just you know trying to make it through and i can tell they're just trying to make it through too but we have a five-day week this week so they better get used to it i was like guys you're back in school so turn off 
you know, snow day mode, turn it off. Like we are back in school. We need to get it together. And we have a five day week this week. We do have a half day on Wednesday, which I'm really, really grateful for because I just, as you see, I have a lot going on, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff on my plate. And being gone last week just like put me all out of whack. So I'm really grateful for like a half a day just to myself where I can get a lot of work done. And yeah, basically I haven't even, I haven't even eaten lunch because I was printing copies during my lunch period and then I got talking with another teacher for a while, which always happens. And then now I am back in my room. I just finished the copies, but now I only have about 15 minutes until I have to go pick up my kiddos, which I'm like, I don't think I even have enough time to go like heat my lunch up and stuff like that. Cause I'm just gonna be like rushing to like scarf it down. So I'm like, maybe I should just eat a snack, but right now I'm literally running off coffee. Like that's the only thing in my stomach. And yeah, can you tell I'm just like getting back into the swing of things and not only that but today I'm also starting back on like my health kick. You guys know I was like on it again before Christmas break. That's whenever I was doing my best like eating healthy and working out regularly and honestly I haven't worked out consistently since before winter break because that long two week winter break I never worked out because I was home and just chilling for the holidays and it's been really hard getting back into the swing of things being sick and stuff so I made a commitment to myself that this week Kyle and I are both <laughs> starting on like a new healthier diet we are going to the gym every day maybe every other day <laughs> we'll see how that goes and we have our cruise coming up you guys if you haven't watched like my past couple of vlogs Kyle and I booked a cruise for spring break and we're going to the Caribbean it's gonna be so nice i'm like so excited for it i can't even explain how excited i am so we are trying to get our bikini bods on because they are not here right now they went on vacation a long time ago so we need to get back into it back on like a healthy schedule so i'm planning on going to the gym after work today which i have not done that in forever because i've just been so tired and like i go home and just nap whenever i get off work but I'm trying to be strong and go to the gym right after work. Also, I took off my nails. Um, you guys know if you follow me on Instagram especially, I always I have like a nail highlight. I always post my nails when I get them done. But um, the ones that I recently got done started falling off way sooner than usual. And so I just, when one comes off, it's over. Like I'm taking the rest off. So I started just peeling them all off. And then last night I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna go get them redone right now. Um, of course, I'll get them done eventually. But I have a gel manicure kit at home that I've been using and I'm trying to get better at it because right now I'm just not good I think there's a lot more to it than just like putting on the nail polish I need to like learn how to like buff my nails correctly and like prep them for the polish but right now I just have this like kind of pretty light pink kind of only almost just like a nude color and it's really pretty but yeah I'm just gonna like do gel for like a couple weeks just like give my nails a break from the acrylics and it's honestly really nice like typing without nails and like i noticed like throughout the day when i like grab things it's so much easier whenever you don't have long nails in the way okay i'm gonna finish this class and then i have about 10 minutes and i'm gonna go pick up my kids and i'll talk to you later all right guys i just dropped my kiddos off at the buses I'm gonna head home, um, but real quick, I'll kind of tell you some stuff that we did today. Today we started started our narrative writing unit, and narrative writing is really, really fun because the kids just get to like use their imagination and come up with stories, and we talked about how narrative is just like a fancy name for story writing. And today we did one of my favorite narrative activities. It's called Picture of the Day. So basically they're given a paper like this, and it just has a picture on it, and like this one just has like a shark with a fisherman. This one has dinosaurs breaking through a wall and their job is to use some words that are in the word bank i love that it comes with the word bank got this off teachers pay teachers by the way and they have to come up with the story and we talked about all the different things that are in a story so we talked about characters setting problem solution and usually there's dialogue in a story and they added their own title so they just got to be creative and have fun with it and i told them you know you can come up with a funny story it could be a sad story and i gave them like an example of a story that they could write and they just kind of went off on their own and it was so cute seeing them writing their little stories and getting really into it some of them got like so into it and were like writing dialogue some of them were writing like sound effects to go with their stories it was so cute so that was really fun and then we're going to continue narrative writing tomorrow and thursday and thursday we're going to do some um, personal narratives so 
they're going to write stories like about themselves which will be really fun too um so that was like the biggest thing that we did today and then we have our math test tomorrow <laughs> so we were supposed to have our math test last week but I was gone all week so we did not end up having it and I didn't want to like throw it on them today because today was already a disaster and like we were getting back into the swing of things so I'm gonna throw it on them tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna have our math test tomorrow and so I know they're gonna be really nervous for that do your kids get like really really nervous for tests like they literally like I always have a couple that like cry and some of them just like shut down on me and they just are like I can't do it I can't do it so I always try to like give them like a hype up like session before their tests I'm always like guys like tell yourself you can do it and they all are like yelling like I can do it so um I always try to like boost their confidence and I always try to like tell them like guys this is just for me to know what you know and if there's something else that we need to work on you know you're not going to be in trouble it's not a big deal if you get an answer wrong i mainly just want to see that you try you know because then i think they worry that they'll get an answer wrong so they just leave some questions blank so i just tell them like i would way rather see a ton of work of like your brain working and you get the answer wrong than just a blank space because then you're definitely going to get that answer wrong you know you won't know unless you try so yeah definitely I get nervous about test days because I know that their attitudes are really bad about it so I just don't want it to be like a damper on our day especially since it's the first thing that we do we do math like first thing in the morning little OOTD for ya I have been trying to create some reels in my classroom um for Instagram but guys my our wi-fi does not work at school so I have not been able to access Instagram at school, which is kind of frustrating because I love like making reels for you guys in the classroom, um, but I haven't been able to. So if you're wondering, that's why I like don't have any more reels on my Instagram going up. It's because I don't have any Wi-Fi here, any service. Um, so just wearing these cute black jeans. These are from Forever 21. Um, they're kind of just like mom jean fit. These brown booties so cute from target you guys they look like steve madden booties but they're targets and then i'm just wearing one of my really comfy this is one of my like cashmere little button-up cardigans so cute and yes we are back to wearing masks so they like extended the mask mandate until february i think 14th so now we're just like riding it out week by week they said they'll let us know but i don't see the point of them saying oh next week you don't have to wear it like what was the point of us wearing it this week you know um so yeah back to the mask life <laughs> In such a good mood it's so funny because on Mondays I'm always like in such a good mood and like ready to start my week <laughs> and then by Tuesday I'm like well but I had a really good workout yesterday and I'm filming a week of workouts this week and yeah stay tuned for that because the last one I filmed a lot of you guys seem to really like so I'm definitely going to keep making those if you guys enjoy them okay sorry my phone died in the car um but yeah i'm just feeling tired and not really ready for the day but here we are we're here so we're gonna have a good day a little outfit of the day for you guys honestly just threw on like the most comfortable things i could find wearing my favorite joggers these are from amazon you already know my converse one of my most like comfortable just like big long cardigans it feels like you're wearing a blanket and then just like a tank top this is um from milo's beads on instagram if you guys want to go check out milo's beads and yeah let's get this day started i am definitely in need of some coffee this morning if you can't tell so I'm trying to get my caffeine intake before these kids come in i went to bed really late last night which <clears throat> Never good, because it always, like, gives me anxiety whenever I go to bed late. You know, when you, like, start counting down the hours of, like, how much sleep you have left, and then whenever I go to bed too late, 
I find myself waking up in the middle of the night like stressed like I keep looking at the clock like oh my god I only have five hours left I only have four hours left I only have three hours left and it's just like not good for me so tonight I need to go to bed early like I'm setting a goal for myself to be in bed by nine that way I'll probably fall asleep at like 9 30 but that'd be like ideal for me I feel like anytime that I'm in bed by nine I just have such a good night of sleep and then I wake up so refreshed so that's my goal i'm holding myself to it i'll let you know if i end up sticking to that but kyle and i ended up like talking we watched oh we watched a really scary movie last night it was called countdown it's on netflix i posted about it over my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram i'm always posting on there even at like nighttime and stuff and always like just keeping you guys up to date on what i'm doing like outside of teaching and stuff and so last night kyle and i sat down we wanted to watch a scary movie because those were like our favorite type of movies or just like thriller movies in general but um yeah it's called countdown on netflix and the main actress is the girl from you if you guys have seen you um she's the main girl from season one of you not love from season two she's season one quinn guinevere guinevere beck that's what her name is her name's quinn in this movie that i watched last night um it was really really good like i was actually scared i love scary movies and don't get like too affected by them but i was like closing my eyes for half the movie it was so scary but it was actually like it had a really good plot line like, like sometimes scary movies i feel like can be like cheesy and just like bad acting and like sometimes the plot can be dumb but the plot was really good the acting was really good it was actually like kind of funny in some parts i don't know i really enjoyed it so i already told you guys on instagram to go watch it so i'm telling you guys now go watch it and then if you do let me know if you watch it and what you think of it because i thought it was so good all right i have two minutes until my kids come in so i'm gonna come over here grab my laptop and open the door for my kiddos Hi, hello it's later in the day now and i'm actually editing this video right now during my lunch break um i need to eat lunch but lately i have this really bad habit of just like not eating lunch and then i push it off until like last minute and then i'm starving um so yeah i need to eat lunch which i'm about to do but i have a 40 minute plan after i drop my kids off at specials um which i don't have a lot of like school to plan for all i need to do is i have their math tests right here we took our math test today and they did really well on it it took a long time because it was a long math test but i made sure to give them plenty of time because i was really bad at math in elementary well i'm still bad at math okay i've, I've always been bad at math so i know the stress of taking math tests and like you just want to like take your time and you don't want to feel rushed so i tried not to rush them and i gave them over an hour to take it and they all did so well on it you guys i'm so proud of them and they all worked so hard and i could see them like using all the resources around the room we have like a number line up there that they're using to count um we have like some math anchor charts on the wall i can see them like looking at which is good they're supposed to use their resources you know and yeah i'm just really proud of them and i already started grading them um we had counselor this morning at 10 30 and so i already started grading them during counselor and so far so good they're doing really really well um and yeah so i'm gonna finish the grading those i am going to finish editing some videos and i'm gonna find time to eat <laughs> and then i am going to i guess check in with y'all later i am leaving school i am ready to go home but i do have a meeting <laughs> whenever i go home i have a meeting at 4 30 until 6 and it is a second year teacher meeting is what they call it so my school organizes um these meetings that you can have as like a new teacher so last year as a first year teacher i went to a bunch of first year teacher meetings and this year i'm going to second year teacher meetings so if you guys didn't know i don't know if all schools do this but i do know my district you're required to go through a first year teacher induction program i'm really curious let me know if your schools do this as well comment down below if they do um yeah we go through a first year teacher or a new teacher induction program is what it's called and it's the first two years of teaching you are assigned a veteran teacher and that veteran teacher basically just helps you along 
um, your first two years. They're just supposed to be like a mentor for your first two years. And you're also required to do a certain amount of observations in those two years, both you observing that veteran teacher and that veteran teacher observing your classroom. And um, there's just like a little bit of paperwork you have to do basically to graduate from like the new teacher induction program. There's also a set amount of mandatory classes that you have to go to so um i or mandatory meetings that you have to go to so i am going to one of many meetings i think we have like four or five a year i went to like four or five last year and then i think this will be the second one that we've had this year and we'll have a couple more before the end of the school year and so it's nice it's like nice that they offer somewhere for other new teachers to go and like vent and just talk to each other and you talk about curriculum you talk about behaviors whatever um and so that is really nice but yeah going home to go <laughs> to another meeting so I will be in meetings until six I was going to go to peer bar but I was like you know what peer bar started at 5 30 and I think we'll get out of the meeting early enough to go but I don't want to risk it and like risk rushing to the meeting um and I worked out yesterday, so I'm just going to work out tomorrow. I'm just do like an every other day thing, at least for right now, until I get back in the groove of it. But definitely watch my week of workouts video that I have coming up this week. It's always like a short and sweet, like 20 minute video and just showing you guys my workouts for the week. That's pretty much it. So check that out. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Plus it really helps out my channel whenever you subscribe. And I'm going to end off this video here because it's getting kind of long and I'm going to start off a new video tomorrow. So please subscribe. That way you don't miss it. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking around. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below a smiley face emoji with the tongue sticking out. That way I know you watch this video. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.